Hey Deckers, we've got a nice Steam update for you today. Unfortunately, not the huge Steam OS 3.4 that we thought we were going to get, but we have got a whole bunch of quality of life improvements on 3.3.2, bringing the build number up to 20221005.1. So the main points on this one is we got a huge update for new big picture mode, and I'll go through that just in a second as there's a couple of options here of how to get that up and running and what you can expect. Tons of other quality of life improvements though for those using remote play, you've got fixed glyphs for third party Nintendo controllers, loads of Steam input changes, especially for those using gyro or flick stick, although I'm not sure that these are all completely relevant to Steam OS, as the Xbox extended features driver has been updated for Windows 11, which clearly is not going to have a huge impact on Steam OS. Some of the other more notable quality of life improvements here is that they've now added the flow for signing in via QR code. So similar to the mobile app, you'll now be able to use the QR code to log into Steam if you are setting up your account for the first time. And they've fixed a couple of crashes around those cache credentials as well. In the desktop mode, they fixed the virtual keyboard again, which was having issues with clipboard and copy and paste. Hopefully this fixes the layout of it jumping around the screen a bit as well, as they did say that they fixed the resize issue, but mostly on docked mode. And of course, they've reduced some of the startups for people with ridiculously huge libraries and also fixed some of the Bluetooth failing in gaming mode. So that's some of the quality of life improvements. So let's have a look at the big picture mode changes. So if we switch over to desktop mode and just give ourselves a quick reminder of what the existing big picture mode looks like. That wonderful startup image and lovely old school big picture layout. So if you want to switch over or try out the new one, we need to exit big picture mode and just exit Steam entirely. And then you need to open up the dolphin browser go to home and then dot local if you haven't got these hidden files shown from the three line menu in the top you just need to show hidden files then we go into dot local share and then applications and locate the steam dot desktop app right click this and go to properties and then the application tab. Now, if you try and do this from the actual shortcut on the desktop itself, it doesn't seem to take effect. So you do need to come into here to make these changes. And then at the end of the command, if you want to always to start up in the new big picture mode, you need to put hyphen gamepad UI at the end there. And once you hit OK, you'll see that update. And now if you launch this from the desktop or just when you start in desktop mode, Steam does auto launch, which would mean that it will automatically launch into this big picture mode, which kind of defeats the object of you coming into desktop mode, in my opinion. And it looks pretty much the same as in game mode, but for some reason, it's got a slightly smaller layout. So it's as if it's being rendered on a larger screen, even though it's the same size output. Big picture mode in desktop mode does seem to have a kind of shrunken UI. And the only difference that you'll see from this between the desktop mode, big picture mode, and the actual game mode is when you come into the power settings, you'll have this exit big picture mode option now and minimize Steam rather than just being the usual power menu. If we go back to the desktop menu and quit back out of Steam, we'll see they recognize that you do not want to go into this big picture mode by default all of the time. So they have given you the option to be able to turn this on just when you turn on big picture mode. So go back to the steam.desktop shortcut, back to those properties and the application tab. Instead of the gamepad UI option, replace this with new big picture. No mode at the end, just new big picture and hit OK. Now when we start up Steam, it will start in the usual desktop mode format so that you can manage games and bits and pieces as usual. But now if you toggle that big picture mode on, it will use the new big picture mode. This is much more intuitive in my book as you know, navigating around Steam in desktop mode can be a bit of a pain. 
but you do lose some of the functionality that you gain in desktop mode. For example, I know that Trine is installed on my extra external drive, which does not show in the big picture mode or game mode. You have to do this via desktop mode. So if I come back out of here and go back to the standard desktop layout, just by exiting the big picture mode again, you'll see that when I now go to try and for to the install, I get the extra option of creating the library on the extra external drive, which it's forgotten about. This generally happens after a few reboots. If you are using external drives for extra space, then you're probably familiar with changing this by now. But it not being available in big picture mode for that library is still a bit of a pain. So it's still worth keeping the standard desktop mode steam handy. So there you have it. There is the biggest change from this update. Once the big 3.4 update hits the stable channel, we will cover all of the changes in that as well. I know there's some people covering the preview version, but because so much changes between there and here, we do like to just update on the stable channel. Let us know in the comments below if you want to start seeing some of those up and coming changes or you're happy to wait until they hit the stable channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.